Hi, Vika. Uh, so, I'm working on this interesting problem uh, to solve about time uh, reporting uh, through blockchain. So, first, I will talk about uh, the problem statement itself. So, just uh, I will talk about three scenarios. First scenario is just imagine when crime has happened and it has been reported already, and uh, crime investigating agency is trying to solve that case by, uh, by because they want some information from tipsters, right? But the problem is that tipsters do not have any uh, you know communication medium that's completely untraceable, today. and because of which, if we uh, uh, talk about the uh, you know uh, some numbers. US is already spending uh, 300 million dollars every year uh, on the name of crime witness protection program. But still, we uh, see you know some case every year where some tipster loses his life or assets. Uh, and second scenario can be where crime has happened, but it has not been reported. But in this case, uh, it can be any possible crime where we say that either witness or the victim of the crime. They, they are not willing to come forward to report the crime, and and this is again because they you know they are uh, uh, they uh, want they do not want to play with their lives because you know cost of consequences after reporting the crime is much higher than cost of just bearing the crime. Then comes third scenario where the crime has even not happened, right? But somebody has some information about the crime. In this case. Now the problem is that the criminals, they have the technology today that they can perform the criminal activities anonymously uh, by staying anywhere in the world. Uh, but when it comes to the crime reporting across different borders, uh, we still do not have any protocol available or any platform available from where they can report the crime anonymously. Now this, these three scenarios actually talk about the requirement or need of anonymity. Now, when we came to know about this requirement of anonymity, uh, we started researching what anonymous protocols, which anonymous protocol we should be going with. Then uh, we came up with some uh, protocols like ring signatures, group signatures, blind signatures. If I talk about group signatures, it requires group managers. That means it's pseudo anonymous, it's not completely anonymous or it's not completely decentralized. So, in that case, it can be corrupted. So we did not go with that. When we talk about ring signatures, ring signatures do not have any group managers, right? So that means it's better than uh, group signatures, uh, you know. And and when we talk about blind signatures, so in in case of blind signatures, uh, some random number is actually uh, you know uh, given to uh, you know uh, to perform the anonymity here, right? There is one more protocol called Bolt protocol. Now this uh, protocol is actually based on off-chain, uh, you know. So because it is on off-chain, so we are again not going with that. Then last protocol comes zk snarks. Now uh, zk snarks it talks about the prover and verifier, right? And here the prover uh, tries to convince to verifier that yes he is the one who is having information, but he is not actually giving the information, right? And since ZK Snarks has been uh, successful so far to uh, you know provide the anonymity in much better way, and there are a lot of developer tools available to develop on top of the ZK Snarks, so we are uh, building you know uh, the solution on ZK Snarks, and uh, we are even you know uh, using Zoblex tool for that. So that that will be uh, you know done on Ethereum blockchain. So that's why we actually, uh, you know, uh, use zk snacks for, uh, you know, using the anonymity in our protocol. And uh, I think that's all from my side. If anybody has questions, they can come up with me.